Hi my friend, today Hikaruna Komura and Levon Arunian, uh, Levon with White, played against each other in FIDE Grand Prix tournament and this game is a madness. Can you believe Queen's Gambit accepted be so mad? Let's go and see what happened in the game. Hikaru not only accepts the Gambit but um, says that okay I will maintain that pawn advantage. Levon says that I know what to do and takes the weakens the defense of the C pawn and again attacks the b-pawn of course you cannot defend that b-pawn with a-pawn because it simply takes you cannot take because you lose the rook so uh, and uh, hikaru defended with the queen and here is the first part of madness even though it is tory attacks to the queen can you see the upcoming tactic yes bishop comes in and knight wants to um, jump in and win the rook so first Hikaru sack a pawn temporary, you will see why I am saying it's temporary. Uh, Levon grabs the pawn, develops the knight, goes back with the bishop. Uh, still black cannot move the rook anywhere. So finally gives a check and win that rook. And here is why I said temporary pawn sack. That pawn push to uh, e5 enable Hikaru to develop bishop later and instead he knew that finally he will win the e pawn of um, white so it's not a problem to give that e pawn of black so um, what's the position after opening now let's go a little bit move a uh, little bit forward to end the opening the position is that okay here is the end of opening the position is that uh, if you check engine engine says that it's almost a cool uh, but uh, why it is almost a cool black cannot castle black uh, is down exchange but black is up a pawn and look at this beautiful pawn structure they, uh, if black can get rid of the b pawn which is very easy actually i mean just uh, attack this knight once more attack the knight on c3 once more and win it then black can uh, i mean uh, and here hikora attacks this knight and just win this knight and then um, black has a uh, three passed pawn um, and Levon goes away um, a knight attacks the queen Levon goes away and Hikaru instead of grabbing that knight plays bishop f5 this was a, a strange move no, he could simply I mean at this position for example he could simply grab that knight and that was it I don't know if not grabbing with the bishop with the knight with whatever you want is a good move for black and look at the black structure black has three passed pawns what is the downside of black uh, the king of black is vulnerable if white couldn't mate black then black is the only one who can win so but what happened in the game is that uh, the, the hikaru played bishop f5 and white give a check and here Levon played like engine and attacks the knight and finally black uh, here uh, the situation is not as before because then black for example cannot capture this because uh, loses that and uh, loses more so uh, at this position what happened is that um, uh, hikaru was forced to grab the knight with the bishop and now the pawn structure is not that promising it's not only white that is better in this position white is down a pawn but uh, uh, it's not uh, in a big trouble also a pawn is very weak a pawn of black is very weak because it can be attacked very soon and we will see and here is a madness see the and the piece of uh, white is hanging um, but white attacks the piece of black black says okay you attack me i defend it with a queen and i keep my queen pinning i i don't get why he currently did that was he in time trouble i mean uh, he had uh, this is moved just to move 23 i don't know he puts his queen in a pin and queen couldn't move knight couldn't move and bishop couldn't move <laughs> this is very bad uh, bad bad very bad suk song actually so tries to release the queen but doesn't help much because uh, uh, levon just grabs that dangerous a pawn this is very practical way to win the game and after a few moves of exchanging several pieces together finally we arrive to a um, position that um, black says that i will queen my pawn but white says that i will grab that pawn and i have just way too many pawns to win the game and 
let's go forward quickly and finally uh, white forces black um, pieces to move toward the queen side and white starts to grab um, black's um, pawns in the king side and um, this was basically the end of the game I, I just want to show you the last position of the game two pieces couldn't um, uh, resist against that many pawns and finally Levon um, played the masterpiece in the end game peace play in the end game and finally won the last pawn in this position and Hikor basically resigned here after this move he resigned because he couldn't stop all the pawns and win the game yes Levon won and Levon is one of the big chances to get into FIDE Grand Prix let's see what happened don't forget to like if you like to see such videos short videos bye